here's a fun project that you can do um, with bits and pieces that are lying around your home and a ruler, pencil and an eraser. Um, first of all, just have a look round and see what you can find, which is either square or rectangle. Um, this was a fridge magnet and I drew round it. Um, this was just to add to my stationery box again, just drew round it. So whatever you've got really kicking about at home. Um, some of them are a bit round edge, so if I draw that one, um, see it's got a bit of, of a round edge, not a problem. So just square the edge off. Uh, again, you can do this with a ruler. I'm just doing it um, by hand. Right. When you've got a number of boxes, um, just put a point right in the middle. Right. Now let's take one of the boxes. Let's take this one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to this time very lightly, very lightly join up that dot with that top of that rectangle there and very lightly this is going to be lightly because you're going to be rubbing these lines out um draw a another line there then you've got a line like that so wherever you want but it's got to be parallel so let's just do something like that then you can strengthen this up like that and make it much sharper let's do that and then you can rub out that there. Let's choose another one. Um, so what the ones that are in the central, you're probably only joining from what that corner and that corner. When they're over at the side, slightly different. So I take that again to the, exactly that point. So we're going to do a very, um, oops, a very light line. Doesn't matter if it goes through that box. And again the same there like that and this time because it's from the side you'll see some of the side as well so this time it's got three lines but again um there's your line your original line take um a parallel line um now this time because you can see another side you where that joins there but remember you've got to do a parallel line you've got something like that and again you can um, you can just sharpen it all up. And again, you can just rub that line out. And as you work your way around, you'll see you get um, you'll start to get the effect of boxes flying. It's, now you can be really clever, and I'll show you one in a minute that I've done. You'd be really clever, and you can do um, stripes. So what I've done there, I've down the side of the box, I've marked off at intervals and. I've already constructed the box, but I can also do um, some stripes. That's if you're feeling really clever. So there we are. And again, those ones like that. Okay. So when you've finished, you'll end up with something like this, which are flying boxes. And I think what looks quite nice is if you then colour in, uh, as you can see I've done, if you can colour in the sides and the top. So the only bit that is in the light is these bits at the front. You can do this a bit more carefully. I mean, if you want, you could do those in colour. You could have maybe the front um, a light blue and the sides are light blue. What you're actually doing is something called one point perspective. Um, and that's quite an easy way of doing one point perspective. So there we are. Thank you for watching.